Okay, so this video is going to be more tailored to trading psychology and not charts. And trading psychology is really, it's the most important part of trading. Okay, not support and resistance, not SMC, not supply and demand, not reading tape, none of that. Your trading psychology, what's going on in between your ears is the most important part of trading. Okay, and I made a post on Twitter this morning. So let's go to that real quick because it kind of ties into what I'm going to talk about here. So you can see I made this post. A lot of money is in making trading complicated, which is why growers do it. Yada, 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 yada. And you can see it's kind of a little thread here. So if you're on FinTwit or you're on financial Twitter, you'll see the word Enigma thrown around quite a bit. You'll see, which is basically people are, Enigma is a fancy way of saying Holy Grail, basically. Even if people don't wanna just say it outright, that's what you're saying, it's a Holy Grail. And as I've said a million quadrillion times, there's no Holy Grail, guys. There's no Holy Grail, okay? And as I said in that thread as well, there's two types of people that are kind of spreading this knowledge or they're not even knowledge misinformation. It's either people that are that are selling something or about to try to sell something and they're just kind of prepping you for it. Or on the other side of the coin, it's just inexperienced traders that kind of got manipulated into that way of thinking. So because these guys, I mean, they're not dumb. The people that are selling, selling this idea, they're not dumb. They have a motive and that motive is usually financial gain. And they know how beginner traders think. They know how people that come into this business think. They know that they're looking for that certainty. They're look they're looking for that holy grail. Because a lot of people, even though they'll say it all day, they'll say, I'm I can accept losses. I can accept that there's no holy grail. I know this, I know this, but your actions say different. What you say and what you do are two different things. And a lot of you guys are looking for that holy grail. A lot of you guys that are listening to this right now, you're looking for that holy grail. Even if it's on a subconscious level, because your actions your actions and what you say are two different things, okay? I've said, I've said it before, you can become a consistently profitable trader. You can make a living from the market. You can become rich. You become wealthy, trading support and resistance, managing risks and controlling emotions. Boom, that's it. You can make it happen with that alone. And I'll say this and a lot of you say, yep, I agree, I agree, I agree. And then you'll go on looking for a bunch of extra shit, looking for that enigma, that holy grail. Because you, you haven't really, like I said, you're, you're, you're looking for that perfection. It's basically what it comes down to. And gurus, it kind of, I mean, there's nothing wrong with selling stuff. So I don't want to, I don't want to give off that impression. I've sold mentorship. I just, I just got done with my paid mentorship. I'm not doing it anymore, or at least for now, or for, a, for a little while at least. So there's nothing wrong with selling information. There's lots of amazing educators out there. But the problem and what pisses me off is when I see people selling using deceptive methods. Deceptive methods meaning this enigma that people are using. Because um, like I said, they're basically just preying. They're preying on beginner trader psychology or inexperienced trader psychology because they know you're searching for that perfection. They know you're looking for it. And, and yeah, that's, that's what they're preying on. They're preying on your psychology. So if you see anybody spreading that enigma crap on social media, on Twitter, my advice is to run because there's use, there's a hidden motive there. Okay. Now the real Holy grail, the Holy grail to trading, I guess you could say it's a few things here. So I'm going to give it to you right here in this video. You know what it is? I, I bet a lot of you that are familiar with my content, you know what I'm going to say. It is risk management and the ability to control emotions. Okay risk management and ability to control emotions that's the holy grail okay because i'm telling you all this system hopping all this strategy jumping it's going to do you no good you're going to wake up if you keep doing this if you don't work on your inner game you don't work on conquering your own inner demons you're going to keep jumping around you're going to wake up five years from now 10 years from now in the same exact place you are now that's if you aren't haven't been busted up and blown up all your accounts yet you're going to keep system hopping you're going to keep funding accounts just looking for that holy grail and well you're gonna you're gonna die of failure that's i mean that's the harsh harsh reality okay that's if you don't accept that the real work the real holy grail is what's going on in between your ears your inner game that's the real holy grail okay now i understand i understand there's different ways of doing things we're not all the same but a lot of you a lot of you right now that are watching this you have a strategy that works you have a strategy that fits your personality you have it but the problem that happens is and this happens with all strategies all experienced traders have this happen you're gonna have losing streaks you're gonna have it happen no matter what and this is where a lot of traders they go off track they'll have a losing streak they'll have a little drawdown 
And you know what they'll do? You know what most people do? As soon as that happens, they'll switch everything up. They'll switch everything up that they're doing. And guess what? You had a working strategy. You had something that worked for you, but you switched it up because you had one little str- one little losing streak. And guess what? Every strategy is going to have losing streaks. I don't care what you find. I don't care what strategy you find. There's going to be losing streaks and drawdowns. All experienced traders, they have drawdowns. They have drawdowns in capital. The key difference between a beginner and an experienced trader is the experienced trader knows how to control that drawdown while a rookie trader doesn't. Okay, the rookie trader, he'll crumble, take a few losses, get in his head, switch it up, go look for that next holy grail, that next enigma. And the cycle repeats and he keeps doing it over and over and over again, jumping from service to service. And I'm telling you, if you don't work on your own psychology, you don't learn how to control your own emotions, you're doomed. There's no future for you in this business. Okay, you're better off just working that nine to five, being content with that, because if you don't control your own psychology, your own emotions, you're doomed. There's there's no chance you're going to make it. Okay. And another thing that kind of it kind of ties into what I've already said, but it's something else that kind of ticks me off here when I see these people, not all of them, but some of them do. They'll kind of shit on retail concepts. And I don't agree with that. And again, it kind of goes into because a lot of you that have traded retail concepts in the past, you've been burned with support and resistance, or that's what you say. You say you've been burned with support and resistance, retail concepts, so then you automatically you know, scratch it off as, this doesn't work. Nope, we've already concluded that it's your own fucked up psychology, it's your own fucked up risk management, and then you got somebody, you got one of these furus come along and claim that support and resistance doesn't work, and it's easier to accept that than to accept that you're just an amateur that you don't know what you're doing. It's easier to scratch off and say, support resistance doesn't work. I need to find something that's better. Nope, you need to work on your own psychology. I mean, I've, I've displayed it right here and I've shown it with my results. I posted my P&L on Twitter. Let me, let me go get that real quick, just, just so you know I'm not talking shit. So look at this, $615,000, $557 for 2022. This was all done, okay? See this right here? See this right here? All done using basic support and resistance, market structure, and a touch of SMC. Now you don't even need the touch of SMC. That's more for me to dial in my precision a little bit better. And so these are basically the two that you want to focus on, basic support and resistance, market structure. That right there alone, in regards to technical analysis, is all you need. Let me repeat that. That is all you need. That is all I basically do is basic support resistance, or this, not even basically, this is all I do right here. This is all I do. And that I said, keep it simple, simple works. And a lot of people, they can't do that just because of their own egos. They want to feel smart and that search for perfection. I mean, telling you that search for perfection, it's going to kill you. It's going to be the death of you. Okay. So, I mean, hopefully you found this, this, this little rant useful. It's something that I wanted to get off my chest because I'm really, I'm really just tired of seeing it. I'm tired of seeing all the BS on social media and it's just, and I really, I really dislike seeing beginner traders get led astray like that because I know what the result's going to be. And I know a lot of these beginner traders, they can't see through the BS. I mean, they're new to the industry. They're new to this business. They don't see, they don't see the snakes in the grass, but I've been doing this for a while and I'm telling you, I can see right through this BS and it just, it ticks me off a little bit. Again, there's nothing wrong with, like I stated earlier, there's nothing wrong with charging or there's nothing long. I have nothing against gurus per se. Because even even myself, I'm a guru. I have nothing against gurus. It's just when people use deceptive methods to prey on beginner traders, which is what a lot of people do in this business. Okay, because there's more money. There's more money on selling the dream, selling the fake reality than there is in keeping it real. There's a way. There's way more money on selling the dream. And there's not a lot of money on the other side in regards to selling education. So hopefully, y'all found this useful. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you later.